is busy, not just at Christmas time, but throughout the year. However, at Christmas, we seem to go into an overdrive mode. Uh, just uh, almost a month ago, we did our, our kickoff for our Christmas campaign, and uh, that includes fundraising. Of course, uh, our goal this year for the Chicagoland area is to raise $12 million. But more than just raising money, this is the time of year that the Salvation Army's goal is to identify as many of our neighbors in need, to see what the extent of that need might be, and to do everything we can within our power and our resources to be able to not only address that need, but hopefully correct the situation so that the need doesn't become a recurring one. And it's important, especially to our donors, that they know how their trust and resources that are given to the Salvation Army are actually used. But there were over 112,000 people right here in Chicago that received Christmas service last year. And that is in a variety of ways. That includes toys or food or blankets or warm winter garments. It includes visits to as many nursing homes and institutions and hospitals in town, just to again remind people that they are not forgotten. But there's a spectrum of services that the Salvation Army provides right here in Chicago. So I want to assure you, when you pass that kennel, or if you write that check, or if you go online, or even call 1-800-SAL-ARMY, however you, you might choose to donate, that those funds are benefiting your own neighbors. Salvation Army is on the front lines of needs 365 days a year, uh, whether we're truly ready for everything that comes our way or not. Not just for the individual crisis and the disaster that hits a household, but the crisis and the disaster might hit an entire city or region or country. The Salvation Army is ready. Why? Well, not just because we've got a whole lot of hardworking, committed people alongside of us, but it's made possible through the level of support that is given by our donors and those who believe in what we're trying to do. So friends, every day when I put on this Salvation Army uniform, I'm proud to represent an organization that is uh, truly striving to do the most good. But I realize that even though when people see me in this uniform, if they don't think I'm, uh, I'm flying a plane somewhere or I'm a security guard, and they figure out that I'm with the Salvation Army, they refer me, they refer to me as, hey, Salvation Army, as though that somehow was my name. <laughs> and then they thank me for what happens countless times, day after day after day after day, by selfless people who I may not even know by name, but I know they serve under the same spirit and they serve under the same name of the Salvation Army. And it's all made possible because of people such as yourself who care. started in January 2005, and what it stands for is Partnership to Rescue Our Minors from Sexual Exploitation, and fundamentally human trafficking. And human trafficking is an event that occurs all over the world, and uh, it's a $10 billion evil empire that we're combating here in the United States. And the, the Salvation Army is at the forefront of this effort. Actually, the Army started back in the 1830s in the Lower East Side of London, England, combating this issue with Midnight Brigades and the Age of Consent. And I was blessed again to be asked to form a task force here in Chicago that could help combat this issue. So the first thing we did was we wrote a grant to the Department of Justice and we received a $1 million grant to create a task force and start training professionals on all the intricacies of how to combat trafficking. And we started with that task force and now it's grown to 33 member organizations all throughout Chicago. We've been training currently over 9,500 professionals in five cities across the country on what is CSEC, the commercial sexual exploitation of children, what does that entail, how to identify it, 
to work with it and how to combat it. We work with legislators to change the legislation, the Child Act in Chicago, probably the most progressive piece of legislation in the country that now makes trafficking a felony by state law in addition to federal law. Also allows wiretapping if you're a trafficker in, in the state of Illinois. So it's called the Child Act. It's the most pro progressive piece of legislation in the country. And because of the Salvation Army's great name and presence in the community already, they, they feel more comfortable reporting to us than they do police. Last but not least, Promise is proud and honored to have received uh, a private gift from an individual, a remainder trust, for $1,200,000 to start a home. So we have opened Ann's house. And Ann's house is a home that will provide long-term trauma-based care for girls who have experienced commercial sexual exploitation. And there are 1,600,000 runaways every year across the continental United States. And one out of three within 48 hours are approached by somebody for sex, commercially. That's a lot of kids. So that's what we do. It's an honor to do it. It's an honor to be part of the Salvation Army and on how we approach this issue holistically. You can't just prevent it. You can't just intervene. You can't just make people aware. You have to provide all services holistically. And once you do that, and it's a lot to bite off on, and it's a lot to chew, but there's no other way to do it. And it takes the Salvation Army, it takes an army to do that. So thank you.